All right, this is going to be a quick review of how to do the table slides. I hope that you've already done those slides without this tutorial. If you have, you can skip this. Or if you did it and you had a little trouble, you can watch this. But this is sort of uh, optional. I've, I hope that you've already done the table uh, slides. So I'm going to choose New File. And it's an untitled document as yet. I will give it a doc type. Oops. And I'll save it as an HTML document. I'll name it Tables. This is just a practice document, and I will save it in week three, but I'm not going to put it inside the folder that's the review. All right, so my beginning tags, I know you know all these, but it's always good to do them together, right? Get things going. There we go. And the title tags. And the body tags. All right, we've got a good start here. I will, no, I'm not going to beautify it. We don't need to. I'll just name it table practice. So it's got a name in there. So just as a review, every table begins and ends with the table tag. So let's start there. And now we've got our first table sort of set up. The first thing that you do when you're looking at tables is you count the rows that you see in the table. On our slideshow, oops, there it is. On our slideshow, the very first table that you're asked to make looks like this. So it's got one, two rows. Remember, a table, let me just bring this full screen. A table is like a spreadsheet. It's got rows, you can see those going horizontally across the page, and it's got columns. These are the columns. So this actually pointer belongs here. This is a table row, that's a table column. So the first table that this slideshow asks you to build looks like this. And we're going to do this code together. It's got two rows, and it's two rows, one, two. And it's got two cells in each row. So let's set that up. I've got my table tags, and now I'll put my two rows in. TR open and TR close. TR open and TR close. All right, there are my two rows. There are two cells in each row. A cell is nicknamed table data, TD. A row is TR for table row. And inside this one, we have two cells. So I'll do TD1 <coughs> and close it. And then TD2 and close it. So this table row has two cells in each row. So I can just copy these cells, why not, and put them in between. I don't want to go here, right? That would be a mistake. In between those. Now this is my table so far. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Uh, And there it is. Well, gosh, it doesn't look like anything. So that's a little bit of a problem. So what I'm going to show you now is a tag to add that is deprecated. So in the table tag, I'm going to add border equals 1. This is an attribute, as you can well see by now. Now I'll do a save and a refresh. 
And there's my tiny little table. Why does it look so tiny? It looks tiny because there are no con there's no content in each of these TD cells. So I'm going to add a little bit of content in between the TDs. Uh, let's see what the slideshow asks me to add. Uh, it asks me to add a non-breaking space. So that is ampersand NB SP semicolon. So ampersand NBSP semicolon. I'm going to save that. I'm going to copy it and put one here, one here, and one here. And I'm going to save and refresh. Now I can see a little bit of what it is. Let's look at the slideshow. I think it's this one, yep, and see what the next slide is asking us to do. Uh, that was just, the next slide was just adding those spaces. And so now, uh, let's go to the next slide. Now it's asking me to fill it with dog, dog, cat, cat. So let's do that instead of the non-breaking white space. Dog, dog, cat. Save and refresh. Oops, I left a semicolon in there. Let's get rid of that. There it is. All right, so based on the slideshow, we're down here at slide 11. So dog, dog, cat, cat, and dog, dog, cat, cat. They're suggesting that we copy our table and paste it again below the other one with a couple of break tags. So let's do that. I'm going to take this whole table, copy it. I'm above my body tag, keep in mind. I'm going to put in a break tag, and then I'm going to paste the table again. Save and refresh. There's my first one, there's a br the two break tags, and there's my second one. Maybe if I enlarge this, it'll be a little more helpful. All right, let's look at the next slide. So the next suggestion is that we add a third row to the second table. So let's go up here. Here is my second table right here. That's it. And they want me to add a third row. I'll just copy this row. How about that? Control C, Enter, Control V, Save, and Refresh. There. So adding a third row is pretty easy. You add a new TR and you add whatever TDs you need to add. What's the next slide? Let's see. The idea here is to add a third column. So the columns, you may or may not remember, are indicated by the number of TDs within a TR. So in this second table, in this second table, uh, I'm going to add a third column by adding another TD. So I can't add it to just one row. I'm going to add it to that row and to this row. Save and refresh. Ooh, I forgot to add it to the middle row. Let's get back there. So TR starts, TR closes. Let's put a space between the TRs, and let's get rid of the spaces between the TDs, just so that the table code is easier to see. So I can see now that I needed another one here. Save and refresh. So now I have three rows. I think that... Uh, I wasn't supposed to do it to this table. I was supposed to make a third table. So why don't I do that? Why don't I copy this table and then subtract what I did? Add a few BRs. Copy. And we'll just take out that last.
save and refresh. All right, so this is table one, this is table two, this is table three. I should put them in order. Hmm. All right. This table, control X, goes after the first table, control V. And that's the end. I didn't put any BRs here. I did, but they disappeared. Did I? They're probably hanging out somewhere. Save, refresh, refresh. All right, look at all those beers there. That's where they all went. After the first table. So I don't need that there. Here's where it ends. I also don't need that there. Looks like I've taken away a closing tag. So let's just double check. Table starts, table ends, two BRs. Table starts, table ends, two BRs. Table starts, oh, right there. Let's close that. Save. All right, what does the slideshow tell us to do next? Still got a few extra BRs there, but not worrisome. Uh, we've got two by two, a two by three, and a three by three. So next is going to be to learn about call span. So I'm going to copy my three by three table, and then I'm going to subtract two of the cells and make the first cell span over three columns. So I'll take my last table and the BR tags, copy it, and paste it below this table. So what I've been asked to do is to get rid of one, two, of these cells and instead make this cell span across three columns. Call span equals three. And instead of saying dog, it says pets. Save and refresh. So you've just learned about a cell that spans columns. It's spanning three, one, two, three columns. And it's just an attribute in the TD cell. Let's look at what's next on the slideshow. Next is going to be a cell that spans three rows. So that's a little bit different from spanning three columns, right? It means that in each row, row two and three, we're going to get rid of one of the TDs. And we're going to make the first cell in row one span three rows. So let's again, let's copy not the last table, but the second to last. Woo! Woo! Lordy. And some BRs. So we're going to go below that table, paste it. Now, in this one, we are going to get rid of one of the cells in row two and one of the cells in row three. And we're going to make the first cell in row one have a row span of two. Save. Maybe we should put pets here, too. I don't know. I can't remember. Save and refresh. Whew, I've made a mistake here. I've got the first two rows are correct, but in the last row, I know what's happening. I told this to span two rows and not three. So I'm going to go back up here and make this a row span of three. Save and refresh. So you have an idea of how to do a row span and a call span. I want to encourage you again to go back to these slides if you haven't done it yet and complete all of the tables. This is a good starting point to help you get through them. The next few tables are simply variations on a theme. It says build five more tables. So there's one, two, three, four or one, two, three, four, five. And they're just all different variations. 
Remember, you count the rows first and build your rows, and then you count the cells in each row and build that. All right, have fun with tables.